All right, guys, so we came out here earlier and uh, checked the two lines, um, one on that far bench over there and uh, one on this here. And uh, the chicken I put out the other day, um, two nights ago, was gone, but no turtles. So um, I've got some uh, bloody chopped up shad and um, some bread and some more hooks and more leaders. So I throw out a rebate these two hooks and then throw out a couple more and uh, come check on it tomorrow. See, maybe we'll have some luck tomorrow. So this one here, I'm just gonna put on a big white bread dough ball. Just plain white bread. Caught a lot of catfish in my day with the white bread. But, and I have caught some turtles over the years on it. Not intentionally, but I'm gonna put a big chunky piece on here too. Basically when you're doing this, you just want to uh, take your piece of bread, put the hook down in the middle, and just ball it up around it. Try to cover as much of it as you can. And just squeeze it on there. And it'll stay. It'll stay for a long time. So, I mean, you can barely see the hook poking out there, but it's a good tight dough ball. Now, hopefully, this line isn't too uh, tangled up and I can get a good decent toss out there. Oh, now that one seemed like that's going to be good right there. That's right out in there. Alright, so I'm going to leave that one. Go around here and reset the one on this last bench. And then I think I'm going to go around too and uh, Throw in another one or two over here in this corner. That uh, that real tall grass over there, um, it's like a little point that comes out and there's more of this pond behind there. So we'll go around there in a second and I'll show it to you. All right, so I think I'm gonna put a shad head on this one. So, <clears throat> Went out and got the this cut shad. I know it's mainly for catfish bait, or it's supposed to be, but uh, you know, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure a turtle will like to eat a big old bloody shad head. So let's get this hook here. There it is. Get me out one of these bloody shad heads. piece of one there. Get that up to the top. It's a good size shot. Tell you what, the lake that's real close to here. I think I can go and if I had a casting net get a whole bunch of these myself. But I don't have a casting net. I guess I could just say screw it and go foul hook them. There we go. So got a tasty Looking, got a uh, tasty looking shad head on this big catfish hook. So I just want to make sure my line's good to go again. Not bad, not bad. Got a good toss out there. And that's right about where I saw this dude two days ago. Oh, but like I said in, earlier in the video, if you, uh, if you have experience fishing for turtles and catching them, and at least targeting them, give me some tips in the comments, man. If you know, you know better bait to use or... Uh, I got the juice on me. Better bait to use or anything, anything that'll help me out, please let me know in the comments <clears throat> because I have a feeling that well well there's one there's probably more but also I have a feeling that this is not going to be a uh, quick battle to catch this guy and then that be it I think there's probably more in here and I don't know I'm really not supremely confident that I'm going to be able to easily get him Well, 
that's not okay maybe that fell through all right so i know you can't see anything but i just put out my fourth line i've got one with a big dough ball of white bread and three with a piece of bloody shad so i'm gonna come back tomorrow morning i'm gonna try to come back tomorrow morning maybe uh if not at least in the afternoon and uh check on these lines see if we finally got this mega snapping turtle all right so stay tuned